guys this is Hawkeye we are back with another hunting session that we're taking part at Red Feather Falls it's I know it's been a while guys but we've been kind of busy <laughs> doing a lot of other things as well not to mention ice lakes and where he got he kicked my butt <laughs> but I think we had a pretty good pretty good time in it so anyway we are after primarily elk and moose here uh, Delacaba has a mission where he has to get, was it black bear or just bear? Yeah, it's uh, black bear, moose, and Roosevelt elk. It's the, the mission for the new 4570, my current boomstick I'm holding here. Look at that thing, isn't that a, that's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice weeping. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't realize that the 4570 cartridge was developed in 1890. And so this is the 1890 model 4570. Yeah, it's much bigger than what the this Auschwitz or whatever. Yeah, um, in my primary mission, I'm just going after elk here. I have to eventually get to another map to to go after red deer, but that's the lower, is it Francis? Yeah, the lower Francis challenge, yep. Yeah, yeah. So I think I would actually made a place last time, so maybe I can get a little bit better or higher up on the scale this time. You want to say anything, Dula? Uh, uh. <laughs> this is my boomstick. <laughs> All right, there you go. Alrighty. Well, let's get busy here. It's got For time. First moving, of course, we're going to go up the side of the hill here and work our way over, but... Wait, wait for me. Somehow I got behind, <laughs> Somehow I got behind uh, you. You're a crawler now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I hit too... I hit it too much <laughs> just hit it a little too many times there. Uh, yeah. he's, he's north of, of east one thing is it's not really what we need <laughs> yeah yeah I'm gonna kinda take a scooch over this way just cause if he's some champion whitetail true See if I can see him out there. Yeah, I didn't pick him up with my uh, hunter mate, so I don't know where he is. I was still out doing something with bandit cam, I think. Yeah. Do you say to the left of the shooting range? Or well, you should be able to see which direction I'm facing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he was right out. He was right out there. I see nothing. <laughs> see if he'll give a holler back. Because actually if we can spot him, it'll tell us an awful lot about what we're going to see on the map as we go. Okay. If, if he's just a little, a little forkhorn then there's a good chance that we're going to primarily see does mm. and the, the elk are going to be pretty small there you called back okay you got him that time? I got him now yeah so he's probably back where we can't see him yeah he's behind the probably behind the fence of the range there's no way we're going to see him yeah just gonna quietly move on up. See anything? Yeah, all I see is the stuffed moose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's of much concern. Yeah. Well, one time I was, I was, I walked into the shooting range to, to practice some shots, and there was an elk in the back corner of the shooting range. <laughs> he was just standing there, and I, I didn't realize it. Thought he's one of the, <laughs> one of the practice things, or? Yeah, he really startled me when he moved. <laughs> he came running out right past me. I didn't even get a shot at him. 
That's funny. I, I was yeah. actually wondering if that could happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to creep up onto this little knoll here. Because he'll probably come around this end if he if he comes. Well, I'm gonna... At least it's not raining. Yeah. You better not say that. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Whoop whoop whoop. You see something? Yes. Yep. There he is. Let's okay. See what he looks like. He's walking sideways. He is actually a pretty darn nice deer. Oh, I see him. He's a hell of a nice deer. Yeah, he is. How far out is he? 51 meters? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, 57 for me. 57 for you? I've got a good shot for him, if I were to use my... Actually, either one. <laughs> well, I'm going to call. And drop a scent patch. And we got to decide who's going to take him. Well, you, you saw him first. All right. You shall have the pleasure. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna watch, I mean, record. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start recording now. I see. Alrighty, we got a really nice buck right out there. We've been sitting here pulling him in slow but sure. He's got a heck of a rack on him, but he's right where I can't get the shot on him. He's well, 51 meters out. If you come right where I am at, you've got a good shot. You can get right in the pocket. I'm not joking. Yep. He's, well, he's basically taking his time trying to make up his mind, and I'm worried if I move, I'm going to spook him. Well, he just called again. Yep. I can't see his head right. very well from here, but... Well... And now I can. He just reached back to scratch his side. Yep. <clears throat> I might go ahead and get my Do you take it looked like you took off. Yeah, he took off, but I'm pretty darn sure I hit him. I'm hoping I hit him. Because once I looked through the scope and I actually saw him, he was nothing to sneeze at. Well he I'm trying to tell you which direction he went, but I can't really <laughs> Well, I marked the place where he was when I shot. I shot with the 357, and I'm not sure what we got, but I can say once he turned his head back to, to scratch himself, and I was looking at him through the scope, I couldn't let him walk away. Well, hell no. Because <laughs> I think I think he might might possibly be in the neighborhood of my personal best. Awesome. He's up here and see what we got. Let him run it out because the fact that he was being so very, very cautious tells me he was a good one. Oh, that makes me happy. Glad to see that. Heart lungs. Heart lungs. He didn't go yep, far. Yep, heart lungs. He ain't going to go far. Yep, not at all. Yeah, my personal. In fact, I think I see him laying right out there. My personal best will always be so far that atypical that I shot when I was playing with my wife. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, there he is, right there. As a matter of fact. Yeah, I'm gonna. Wow, I'm getting quite the domes now. <laughs> yeah. That experience has really gone up. Yeah, he's. He bled like hell. You know, I punched him right through your shoulder, and and it it was a perfect side-on shot. I was really surprised when he took off the way he did. I thought, you know, maybe I twitched or missed him or something. He's but. just a tough old bird, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he sure is a pretty one. Well, that's definitely worth the wait, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Am I seeing that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. He's a 16-pointer. Wow. With one, two atypical points on that horn, on the, the high horn, and his low horn, I don't think he's got any atypical, so... Yeah, this this could be special. Let's take a look here. A 164 is all. I'm really surprised. I must have lost point for them points for those atypicals. 
Yeah, that's that was what bothered me with the one I got, because uh, I don't know why, but they take away from the points. Well, it's because they lose symmetry. Mm. Is what it comes down to. I see. You lose symmetry. He's beautiful, though. Yeah, I, I gotta say that I expected I expected a, a score in the one seventies or one eighties on him, but he's wow. I mean, look at look at that freaking rack. Damn. Now what's, I don't. What is that, your personal? Best? Well, my personal best I think is one seventy two, but yeah, I just just counting to be sure here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that makes him a sixteen pointer, and with the two atypical horns, that makes him a twenty pointer. Damn. Yep. Wow. That's Without nuts. those horns, I think you'd have scored a whole lot higher. That is one serious rack. Yeah, it is. That's a darn shame. Well, hey, he was worth the wait. Oh yeah. Definitely. He was worth the wait. All right. Well, let's let's get back on task. Let, thanks for number one being patient while I called them in, and number two letting me take the shot. Oh no, no problem. Well, let me see here. Check my sense expression. There we go. Do I even have yeah. mine on? Yeah, I do. I'm just doing it just in case. <clears throat> yep. Let's see what kind of track we got over here. Yeah, I did see an extra track. Yeah. Oh, white tail. Mm. I have not heard one elk. Nope. Well, we'll we'll get back on track and we'll take our usual elk route and hopefully we'll run into the five brothers. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Get you a great big old monstrosity. Gets me is we never did record that one where we took all five of them out. Yeah. That was that was quite the hunt. Yeah, were you recording that uh, that time where uh, with your crossbow, that real steep drop off, you shot so many of them with your crossbow? Yeah. That, that, that was way back when we first started hunting together. Yeah, that's one of the first times I started using my crossbow. I'm, yeah. so, I'm so comfortable with that, I could practically shoot them off the hip now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, me and Hawk were, we, we got started hunting and we were working our way across. Here just just a few minutes ago and getting up near the road where the sharp bend in the road is and all of a sudden I lost my sound completely Hawk was gone and the game sound was gone it was really creepy and we ended up having to restart so actually probably ended up being benefiting us yeah At least. well the fact that 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 was such a big old boy right there starting out tells me that if we do run into more more uh, if we run into bull elk or more bucks, they should be decent. Yeah. Because normally whatever it is you run into here will tell you if you run into a little fork horn here, usually it means you're going to see lots and lots of does and just little fork horns. You'll have maybe one decent buck somewhere along the line. But And the one I shot, I had, it was still when I was working with the shotgun. I had the 12-gauge and uh, I had it set up with bird shot. And I forgot to... Forgot to switch shells and shot him with the bird shot, so it disqualified him. Oh, man. Yeah, I see the one of the females. She's, yeah, they're. I mean, they're they're right to my right side. She's about ready to come up and kiss you on the nose. Yeah, she gets too close. I'm gonna have to poke a hole in her. Yeah. Oh, she's only twenty-eight. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's two of them that are. I mean, right in front of me here. <coughs> I've got her 23 for me, so. Yeah. You know, I think I think this contest is for the heaviest weight, and it doesn't have to be male or female. Really? Be either one, yep. But if I let fly with that boomstick now. <clears throat> Oh God, she's right on top of you. Yep. A good shot. Silent but deadly. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, the rest of them moved up over the top of the hill there. I was going to say I didn't see any more. Oh, I just there's, heard, there's a buck. Yeah, where the hell is he? Just heard him. That's Hold the on. one I've been tracking. He's off. Oh, he's, he's right up there. Right yeah, he's real right practically on top of me. Yeah. I see him, I think. I see him. Hold on. Yeah, he's right up the hill there. Okay, he's he's just I see his head. That's all I see. He hasn't come over the hill enough to where I can see all of him. But it looks like what he's got as far as a rack is pretty cool. Yeah, he's right up the hill there. I'm sorry, I might have to take this one. If he gets too close. Yeah. Yeah, you saw him first. I'm tr trying to get eyes on him so I can track him. Well, but you... that's that's the one that's the one I was tracking on my way over here. He's the one that uh got the the track that's just to one side here just in case <laughs> see if I can spot him up there he was right up on the top of the ridge there yeah I saw I seen him I seen him walking across to the right and then I lost sight of him he's still there I've I see him he's behind a bush <clears throat> I've got him weighed at 75 to 100 kilograms <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. He's awful cautious, man. He is just... Well, we'll see if we can pull him down so you can poke a hole in him. Yeah, he's not sure about coming down here. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I see him breathing up there. I can, I can, I can't tell what part of him I'm seeing. Oh, you know what? He's sleeping. Is that what it is? Yep, he's laying down sleeping. Well, hold on. I bet I can get him with. If I can crawl up there, nice and quiet. <clears throat> so we've got a a white tail buck who's laid down to take himself a nap right on top of the hill there. Let me uh, just shift my view off him and then shift back, and you should see him highlight. <clears throat> He's right there. I got my crosshairs on him. He's 62 meters up. Hawk's going to see if he can slip up on him. But he called, and he was walking across the hilltop, and then all of a sudden we couldn't see him. And I could see him breathing up there, but I couldn't tell what the heck I was looking at. And when it gave me the outline, I, I realized he was laying. He's laying down. We come this way because we heard an elk call up here, and we had a, a herd of females come through, and I... Uh, had to drop one of the cows down over here because she was about to walk up and kiss me right on the nose. Yeah, he's still laying there. There, it gave a little flash. So you can see he's laying there. He's got himself all curled around. Holy, Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he was a hell of a buck, too. Oh, Son of a gun. Good. Well, you got your elk, though. Yeah. <laughs> I got that on tape. Wow. <laughs> That's the elk that, that we've been trying to catch up with oh, over here. I was... <laughs> I was... <laughs> he said, he said I mean, what are you doing paying all that attention to that deer? Because you're elk hunting, you bastard. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Oh, my God. I have never seen anything like that. He walked right in front of my sights, and I just, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up my cow over here. Holy crap, that was, that was, I can't believe I caught that on recording, too. I was looking through the scope. I caught it through the scope. Yep. So yeah. the white, the white tail took off, I take. Yeah, he had a hell of a rack on him, too. I've got a feeling we've got a major white tail map going on here that, uh, because we're doing this competition with the, uh, the moose and the elk and, and everything, <coughs> that we've got um, basically there's a very small number of the animals that we're doing the the hunt for and that means that the primary push is going to be because it's it's bear moose and, and elk and whitetail and blacktail are the only other thing left over so yeah but yeah well heck and, I, can't get, uh, I cannot believe that that was just 
<laughs> crazy. That was crazy. I can't yeah. for the life of me get his head right. I have got his neck all twisted up here. Alright. Yeah, here's the spot where he was sleeping. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna track on this buck a little bit. Well you're doing that. I got him. Just see which direction he went. Because he's headed in the general direction that we're we were planning on going for the uh for the elk, so <laughs> I can't get over that. I'm sitting yeah. there go sneaking up. He just walks waltzes right across my Oh yeah. Like I say, he was like, Hey, wait a minute, you guys are supposed to be on an elk cut. What are you doing paying all that attention to that white tail? Look at me, look at me. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> That's but crazy. I, I tell you what, that that was a that was a good shot. Dropped him right on the spot. Yeah. I told you about that. Yeah, I got I see where he was sleeping. Huh? I told you. Yeah, I'm not not sure which direction he went from here. He might have gone up over the hill or down. I don't know. I'm no sign of his tracks, but well, that was the elk that called. I'll drop her dot for Kidney Hill here again. Dude, turn around and look behind you. Turn around and look behind you. Oh, turn around on. and look behind you. Don't. Yeah, right there. Look out there. Look out there. Right. 226 meters. 214 meters. No, 84 meters. Holy crap. Do you see him? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, no. Well, then it's your loss. Where is he? I don't see him. Jeez. Oh, I see him now. He's running. Yeah, I think he just went down, but I'm not sure. The only reason I didn't turn around right away is I just hit record and always have some lag for a minute before I actually start moving. Yeah. And it froze for a second, so. Um, I'm pretty darn sure I hit him. Yeah, I got my message. Yeah, I saw but... it. What is him? Not quite the boom. Yeah, sorry. I he was he was about to he was about to be gone gone. So oh, I'm not worried about it. That's that's why I decided to make the shot. Oh wow! Because he was he was about to be gone. I'll go with witches. Yeah. Maybe we can find this dude. Yeah. See if I can find his main track here from when I shot. He was right in here someplace. Yeah, I just got up in the tower, and when you said something, I hit that, and I, then I couldn't turn around because it was just stuck. If I'd been able to turn around, I might have seen him. But well, I wanted to give you, a, I wanted to give you a, a swing at it, but like I say, he was, as you can see, he was moving off in this direction, and yeah, is that him? Is that him what? His track. You know, I honestly don't know. Because, I mean, there wasn't even time to, to spot on him. I'm pretty sure it's his track. But... He nice. was... He was not at all a bad elk. I'm seeing a bunch of glowing... Gl there we go. So this is where he was when I hit him. And he ran down this way. It's body blood, unfortunately, but mm. I mean, he was—he was literally just leaving my my sight picture. And there's there's no zooming on this scope. It's just it's like what you see is what you get. Right. So. But it's time to track him with that 4570 wherever I hit him he will eventually go down well that's what I was going to say it's like when I hit him with the Auschwitz those things hit so hard yeah about the only thing that can stand up to it with any willpower is usually a, a bison mm, we're coming up on the edge of the reserve so he's probably going to turn right and travel right here in a little bit. Because we're coming right up on the edge of it. Uh. 
And there he is. I'm gonna have to finish him. Oh, he's not down completely. No. Sorry, old boy. Whoa, no! What? No! The hunter has stopped working. Oh! Are you kidding me? No. No. No.